Hello everyone, welcome back to the Excel 2016 training. In this video, we will take a look at grouping and ungrouping. Here is our employee spreadsheet and I'm on the temp to tab. Let us work on the rows first. You need to go to the data tab and on the ribbon uh, within the outline group, you will see the group and ungroup command options that you can use. So before we start uh, you know, grouping rows, first we need to make a decision on the rows to be grouped. Let's say for example, I want to group uh, say row 10, I mean employee ID 10, which was uh, row 11 or row ID 11 from there, let's say till 25. So in order to group this, make sure you select those rows and then do group and select the first option group. Now you can see on the left hand side it added a vertical line and a little minus uh, icon there. You can click that and that will kind of you know hide all the rows there. And this is not like hide and unhide rows but this is where you can group them together. So you can use it based on your uh, you know workbook. Next, in order to group columns, it's a similar uh, concept. Uh, select the rows and then do group and you're done. Then it adds this thing there, little thing. Click on that and stop. It's, it's grouped now. I mean, it's uh, hidden in, in some sort and you can uh, you know, use the rest of the sheet. So this is primarily for organizing and you know, working more efficiently with your uh, worksheets and uh, in addition to this you can also have multiple levels by that what I mean is say for example uh, let me uh, yeah what you could do is let's say you can select a subset of what you have already grouped and then add another group there which will add it's a multi-layered grouping uh, I mean, Microsoft does not call it multi-layered grouping, but I just call it multi-layered grouping. And, you know, this comes handy depending on, you know, uh, the data that you're working with. You can apply similar concept to columns as well. Let's say I pick from E to K and do group. See, as you can see, I have uh, two levels here. You can also uh, play with this, with these numbers that got added. Uh, these represent columns and these are rows. So if I do one, pretty, pretty much everything is grouped. But if I do two here, it just expands to that level. Three it goes to another level deep. Same thing with this, if I hit three directly, it, it will expand all two. So you can, you know, play with these uh, uh, and apply to your spreadsheets or workbooks as needed. Now this is about grouping. In order to ungroup, it's very simple. Uh, just go to ungroup and do clear outline and everything is gone. You took out your rows, your columns, um, grouping everything. It's back to normal. Hey, let me show you one other option. Let's say I grouped these rows and you want to ungroup them. We know that we picked from rows from 6 to 16. So you can, and let's say you also have a group here. Let's say you want to just ungroup the first set. All you do is select all those rows and go here and do ungroup and you're done. So that's the only group, you know, was removed. Now, when you have multiple such things and you do uh, ungroup and clear outline, it takes off everything. So, okay, it's simple, it's easy, and uh, definitely it is uh, useful, comes handy when you work with your, you know, large worksheets. You know, it kind of helps in viewing uh, your worksheet efficiently. Well, that's it about this video. I will see you in the next.